Since the storm is as intense as the Gulf Coast has seen in 100 years, they have to be prepared for the worst. With the potential for rising water and swift water rescues, you know, they may be necessary. They've got to be ready. There's a group of volunteers, Gulf Search and Rescue, staging near Tampa that's ready to help first responders should the need arise. The members of Gulf SAR are volunteers from around the country, and they're equipped to help rescue people, pets, and even livestock. This group is made up of flood and swift water technicians, canine handlers, rope technicians, and ground specialists, and they're even trained to help people stuck in confined spaces. Joining me on the morning show, the founder of Gulf Star, Jake Stovall. Good morning, Jake. Appreciate your time. Good morning. Good morning. So this Sorry is a, to be this is, a, this is a dangerous storm. And for people who find themselves in a very precarious situation, Gulf Star can be the self-described calm in the storm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We try to be. So I mentioned Ian is a dangerous storm, and with it comes the potential for dangerous impacts. Should somebody find themselves in a flooding or swift water situation, what's your best advice to them in helping save themselves before calling for help, which we'll get to in a minute? Uh, the first thing they need to try to do is get to a high place. If it's a two-story, go up in the second story. If it's a one-story, go up into the attic with an actual axe or something to break through because you don't want to be trapped in an attic and then call immediately for help or use our uh, app. What's the biggest mistake that people make? Uh, going up into attics or trying to wade through water that they'll get like three feet of water in their house and they'll try to go out in it. They don't realize that all it takes is a foot of water and it'll sweep you out, sweep your legs out from under you and they get swept away. So I promised to talk about getting help. Gulf Star has an app that people can download now, and it can be a lifesaver. So how does it work? Um, so we work with 911 emergency services all across the country. And so you download our app, fill out the application or fill out the information in it to where when you call 911, instead of telling them about that, download the app and then you push a help button. It goes directly to us and 911 immediately with your geolocation and it uploads all that information to where your response is a lot faster. So we need to emphasize it's to be used only in a real emergency. Jake, appreciate your time. Stay safe out there. Thank you very much.